Hey guys, Ron Lyons here with Lyons Tactical and Survival Supply. Today I wanted to talk to you very briefly about a pair of tactical pants. They're called the Rothko Tactical Duty Pants. And I actually ordered a pair for myself from the supplier so that I could check them out and kind of tell you a little bit about the ins and outs of this particular pair of pants. You've got to just imagine there's so many different tactical pants out on the market. There's a lot of BDU pants on the market and there's a lot of differences between all of them. This particular pair of pants comes in at around $50. I think um, as of the time this video is being done, they're selling for $53 on our website. But at that price point, they offer an awful lot of options for you that I think you're going to find very, very good for that particular price. So let me, uh, let me give you a quick breakdown of uh, what there is specifically going on with these Rothko Tactical um, Duty Pants. So first of all, the material. It's a 65-35 blend, 65 polyester, 35 cotton, ripstop material. And if you've ever been out in the field, if you've ever done anything, if you're hard on pants at all in whatever you do, whether your mission is daily life, if you're a police officer, military, or if you're just an avid enthusiast of all things outdoor, weapon systems, etc., you know that when you get a hole started in your pants, those pants are probably pretty much done. Now the thing about this ripstop material is it's going to allow a small hole or tear to go just so far and then it's going to stop that. So you're going to be able to get a lot of miles out of these tactical pants because of that ripstop material. Now the parts of the pants that are most important, so the, the crotch, the butt, the knees, those are all very reinforced. I actually took a light from my phone. I held the phone inside the pants leg and moved it from you know the different parts. And you can see where the extra material is, where the extra thick material is. And you can see the sewing on the pants where the double stitching has been done that makes these pants much, much more sturdy in those particular areas. Now you can buy a less expensive pair of tactical pants, but you're going to rip the crotch out. You're probably going to get holes in them. You're going to throw holes all through the knees and that sort of thing. So I think that having this very reinforced butt, knee area, the double stitching at this price point with the ripstop material just makes that kind of a, an added bonus. Now, as far as the whether or not it has a button down fly or zipper and button, that sort of thing, this particular pair, it actually has a snap and a zipper. Now, people are going to prefer different things. Maybe you prefer to have the button fly all the way down the front. Maybe that works better for you. In my case, I like the zipper most of the time. My intent for wearing these pants is going to be like in the daily life mission. Now, that doesn't mean that they can't go out in the field very easily because they can. And to, to kind of go to that end, when I was getting ready for this video and I was getting everything uh, laid out, I actually spilled some water on the pants and the water actually beat it up and rolled right off the pants. Now that to me tells me that that coating, whatever the fabric treatment that they have on this particular uh, line of pants is very good. Now I don't know yet, I haven't taken them out and run them through the sand and the grass and the blood and the guts and everything else, so I can't guarantee that they're actually going to be super stain resistant, although they are marketed that way. And I do believe after seeing that water roll off there like that, that they're going to be very, very impervious to most things that would stain them. Now they've got the side pockets that are kind of standard. They're, they're at an angle, like talking about the ones where your hands would just drop right down into. What I like about that is that on the right hand side, in the area where what we used to call way back in the day, we used to call it like a lighter pocket. Well, now that's a place for your EEC blade. You can take a small knife and fit it right into that pocket. And what it does is it keeps it out of the way of reaching into your pockets with your hands. So if you're reaching in for your keys or some money or something like that, you don't have to work around the clipped on EDC blade that you carry with you on a daily basis. It can actually go into this small pocket that's made right inside that edge. That's kind of nice. Now about those edges, those edges are reinforced. When you do carry an EDC blade or when your hands are in and out of your pockets a lot, you're going to wear out that, that edge on that pocket rather quickly. 
These happen to have been reinforced, so there's a little extra material along those edges. Now that's not the only pockets these pants have. You've got your standard uh, quad pockets or thigh pockets, and, and let me tell you about those. Even those have some thoughtfulness into the design. So on a normal BDU pant or something like that that's got like that thigh pocket or that quad pocket, they are really, really, really large pockets in the sense that they've got the pleat down the front and they're made to hold an awful lot of gear. But the problem with that comes when you're not lugging a lot of gear around in those pockets, when you're not actually out in the field, you don't need to stuff a big giant medical kit or something else in there. That pocket stays billowed out, fluffed out so far that it looks real obvious that you're walking around wearing tactical pants. So you do need a large cargo pocket on each side and they do need to be pleated as these are. But the thing about it is, is the pleat is not so great that when you don't have gear in there that the pockets just puff way out on you and you walk around looking like a clown with these big puffy thigh pockets going on. I really like that aspect of these particular pants because they hold enough gear, they hold what you would probably normally actually put in a pocket like that, and they're, they don't look like they're made for you to put a lawnmower in there. So you're not going to walk around when you don't have anything in those pockets and you want to go to the store, you want to go to the gas station, you want to go to a kid's event in school or something like that, you don't have to walk around and feel like you've got these big giant blousey pockets and it's real clear that you're wearing tactical pants. Now. One thing that um, they have down lower than that is uh, reinforced knees with a slit so that you can slide if you do happen to need to wear knee pads. If whatever line of work you're in or whatever job you do requires that you have knee pads, you can slip those into the, the knee pad slits in these pants and you're good to go. That is a huge bonus if you need to do that. Now on the front up here on the left hand side, you actually have a small mag uh, pocket. And when I say a small mag pocket, you can fit a standard mag. I'd be able to, I carry a, a Kimber, a 1911, a full size 45, and an Ultra CDP. An extra mag would easily fit in there from that. Um, now, it's not going to be big enough to fit most cell phones in. So if you want to do double duty with that pocket and throw a cell phone in there or something like that, you're probably not going to be able to do that. It is literally made to hold very securely most magazines from like a handgun or possibly um, any, any sort of a, a carbine or something like that. But if you've got a standard mag, if you've got a mag for a, a handgun, it's going to go in that just fine. Let me tell you what it's missing that I think it's good that are, that's not there actually on this particular type of pants. You're not going to have, these pants do not have, a drawstring down at the at the opening of the leg down there. So you're not going to be able to to tighten that up. These have a, a more finished uh, leg that's going to go more with like say a standard uh, duty boot or something like that. If you're in law enforcement or if you're just like I said you're going to do the mission of life and you've got your regular boots on. These pants do not have a drawstring down at the bottom. So there's a couple of things like that that are not on these pants. Um, that I think actually make them more suited for your daily life and probably fit you just a little bit better into the civilian world while still maintaining that tactical advantage of having your pockets, a place for your EDC blade, things like that. So overall, now let me just tell you one, one thing else that, that they do have um, kind of coincides with that. They have a comfort waistband, which means that there is elastic material built into the side. So when you finish a big meal or whenever you, you know, gain a few pounds, you're not going to have to get rid of your pants and throw them aside, find some more to wear for a while. You're not going to get up from a big meal and feel like you're getting cut in half because the waistband actually stretches it. It, it articulates with your waist just a little bit. Now, you know, a lot of the standard uh, BDU pants have on the side the adjustment strap with the, the small uh, adjustable buckle on there and you can you know increase the the diameter of that waist to fit you in any particular circumstance or you can cinch them down in the event that you need them tighter on these you don't have that and and for me those things never seem to work I can get one side to work and they'll tend to last the other side doesn't for whatever reason one side or the other is going to stop working when you have that system in place 
with these. You're going to be able to put these on. It's going to adjust to accommodate you wherever you're at in that moment. So if you're a little bit on the smaller side, they're going to cinch in. If you need that extra room, they're going to stretch out. So that makes these pants exceptionally nice for wearing on a daily basis. They're very, very comfortable. Um, I happen to get the khaki pair, the khaki color, and I really, really like it. They work very, very well with you know, your standard uh, boots or whatever you want to wear with them. I think you could probably get away with wearing like tennis shoes or something with these and still look good. You might look like a skater, which is not necessarily a bad thing if that's your deal. But um, now the belt loops on these, one and a half inch belt loops, that's something to consider. If you're wearing a two inch belt, this is not going to work. Most of us are going to be in that one and a half inch or less uh, belt size and these belt loops are going to work fine. They're extra thick, they're very, very wide, and they're going to hold on to that belt real well. So if you do happen to need to wear a holster and you put your under belt on and then you put your duty belt on over that with your keepers or Velcro or whatever your system is, this is going to work for that. This is actually made well for that. So basically these pants have the ripstop material. They've got the stain resistant finish on them. They've got the snap and zip closure on the front. You've got one and a half inch belt loops all the way around. You've got the comfort waistband that stretches and gives and moves with you, uh, makes the pants very, very comfortable to wear and articulates well with your body when you're actually having to bend down a lot and move a lot. You've got all of the pockets. So you've got your front slash pockets. You've got your small EDC pocket. You've got your, your mag pocket up on the front left thigh. You've got your quad pockets. You've got your back pockets and you've got Velcro in just the right places in order to hold things secure, but not so much that you actually have to engage in a fight with your pants to recon your own stuff. Now, you've got the reinforced seat, the butt, you've got the reinforced knees, so you're not gonna like blow out your crotch or the backside or your knees super easy in these. The extra material, the extra stitching, makes them super, super strong like that. You've got the smaller pleats in the quad pockets or in the thigh pockets. And that helps a lot because you're not going to put these on and walk around like we used to do with those old BDU pants and have these big giant puffy clown pockets sticking out all the time. There's plenty of room in them. You can put plenty of gear in there, but they actually sit back flat nicely against your leg when you're just walking around with nothing in those pockets. So basically what you have is a pair of tactical pants that is kind of in the middle of the road as far as price point. So I've had them all the way up to $125 a pair and I've had them all the way down to around $25 a pair. And these landing at around $50 to $55 a pair are just about right. So you're gonna get a lot of the benefits and qualities that you get in some of those more expensive ones, but you're gonna you know, pay the price that's closer to say some of those less expensive ones. So the difference to me is those, those really expensive ones I always was leery about wearing those out and getting them dirty and doing what you're actually supposed to do in them because they cost so much. They're going to cost a lot more to replace. And at the same time, I've had the ones down on the lower end of the spectrum where you're not going to get a lot of wear out of them. You don't mind wearing them out. You're just not going to wear them often. They're going to wear out on you. And you're going to look like you're wearing cheap BU pants anytime you try to go out into normal life. With these pants, you're going to be able to do normal life or tactical things at a really good price point, be very comfortable, have all of the utility built in that you need, I think you're gonna actually like these. So anyhow, check them out on the website. It's lionstactical.com. We have lots and lots of this sort of product on the website. So we've got uh, a wide variety of tactical pants, tactical shirts, all kinds of tactical blades, holsters, you name it. We've got a lot of stuff on there right now. So head on over and check that out. It's lionstactical.com. L-Y-O-N-S tactical.com. We're also on Facebook under facebook.com forward slash Lions Tactical. You can find us on Pinterest under Lions Tactical Gear. You can find us on Instagram under Lions Tactical Gear. And we're on Twitter under Lions Tactical. So check us out on one of those things. Connect with us. I'd love to meet you. I'd love to talk to you. I'd love to hear your story and what your world is like. And I'd love to be your supplier of all things tactical. So reach out to us. In the meantime, guys, stay safe. And I'll see you on the next video.